Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Danae, and this is a message for you. I done forgot what I say. It ain't that damn long. <laughs> and I'm here with a message for you. Oh my gosh. That was the strangest brain fart ever. <laughs> oh man, hope you're doing well on this fine Tuesday. April 16th, 2024. Beautiful, beautiful day where I am. Hope the same for you. Got the window open so my nose is itchy. Forgive my sniffles in advance should they occur. <laughs> Oh, and while I'm cutting, I want to say to pick up off of my message from yesterday, which I strongly encourage you to check out. It was a little longer than usual, but it was a really good one, I think. Um, but in one part of the message, I was trying to think of a Renaissance woman, a modern Renaissance woman that I could make an example of for the you know someone being a, a revolutionary in their artistry or just being extremely multi-talented or multifaceted and it came to me today as i was shuffling who that would be now first i i actually googled it and i was like who would be considered a modern renaissance woman i didn't say it in all those words but it was a very drab search you know like result from that search the only face that really popped up first of all like renaissance man is the traditional term that wasn't even coming up in the search and you know if you start writing renaissance everything that would be um, connected to that starts to come up as a possibility and Renaissance man popped up, but certainly not Renaissance woman, which I thought was very interesting to start. Not until I wrote the W did the woman pop up. And you know how long Renaissance is of a word, right? So when I finally did, um, when it finally did come up <clears throat> in the results, I went to the images because I was getting much of nothing in the uh, first page. And the only face that was familiar was Oprah. Go figure. You know, like the quintessential Renaissance woman. But I didn't really feel a connection to that as much. And especially after the name that I'm about to share popped up and I was like, oh, well, she's definitely missing a few, a few pieces and points compared to this woman. Candy Burris. Candy Burris is definitely one that I would say respectfully is a renaissance, a modern renaissance woman. Singer, songwriter, actress, um, personality, TV personality, social influencer, hella businesses, the, the sex toy business, the restaurants, um, her podcast and her own personal programming that she does like candy coated nights and all that other stuff that she does um the plays that she's produced and directed and i'm sure written the movie that she and todd were executive producers of you know the list kind of goes on and on i mean she's actually grammy nominated i think she's going for an egot grammy she's a grammy winner i think that she may have gotten i don't think she's gotten all four yet Maybe she's gotten a Tony. Something's missing, I believe, but that's what she's going for. And, you know, with the ambition and drive that she embodies, I wouldn't be surprised if she if she achieved it. Now, personally, on a very, you know, biased note, <laughs> you know, I'm not particularly a fan, I would say. So this is not me speaking from fandom at all. Like, I don't love everything that she does. I did like the movie that she and Todd produced. I was pleasantly surprised about that, and I spoke about that before. The 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 um I forget the name of it, but I think it was on um, Peacock. Uh, that was good. That was that was really good. But generally speaking, like I'm not 
a candy fan, you know, but I have so much respect for her drive, for her passion, for her um, hustle, the way she can flip a coin 10 million ways <laughs> and back again. I truly do revere that with the utmost respect and that she gives her heart and soul into everything, no matter what anybody has to say about it. So I just felt really driven. And the reason why I say that she would definitely be more revered than Oprah is because Oprah can't sing. <laughs> Oprah is not even trying to sing, not trying to write or produce musically in any regard. Of course, Oprah is, is a dynamic actress um, that surprised us all, you know, with the color purple and so on and so forth. She's produced and directed much. Um, and the old magazine, and of course, you know, Oprah is a pioneer in her own right, and nobody can ever take that from her. But what I was really talking about is somebody that just is so spread out and artistically that it's almost like amazing to to fathom that somebody could be um, could actually be proficient, let alone actual uh, proficient is one thing, but actually. Um, uh, what's the right word? Like, more than proficient, you know, because I'm not going to sit here and play on Candy's, Candy's name like that. You know, she's more than proficient at what she does, but it would be one thing to be, you know, okay at all of that, but to actually be successful and do well and um, I can't think of a word that I'm really trying to use. Not impactful, but, you know, somebody that really is successful is not really it. It doesn't do it for me, but you, you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. So, shouts out to Candy Burris and her family and team and all that that she does over there. And I think, honestly, I was thinking about it further that with her possibly not coming back to the housewives and I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not but I heard that that um gossip that she made she's probably not going to be returning I could imagine she's probably going to do more stuff you know that she will definitely not be sitting home idle even though she probably could afford to with all the hands that she has and things the irons and the fire but I can imagine that she's going to become even more independent and revolutionary in some other way, you know, really just championing, championing, championing her brand in a more independent way where she can truly reap the benefits and it not be disseminated to bigger networks or bigger entities as much, you know, or, or her even having to answer to the industry as much as she's already, you know, more or less entangled, for lack of a better word. So anyway, just wanted to say that because it was so apparent to me. I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And she's been doing her thing for a long time, for a long time. So can't knock the hustle, that's for sure. That's for sure. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, yiggity yikes. <laughs> Somebody is in, down in the dumps. Certainly not me. <laughs> I feel great, personally. No dismiss or disrespect to whatever energy this is, but I will not be receiving this as my as a projection for myself and I deflect it as a projection unto you if it does not resonate. Let's get that out the way. But with the five, my eye was immediately drawn, drawn to the Roman numeral five here. It's like maybe somebody's depressed about some inevitable changes. And I'm feeling the sense that it's something that they can't control. Yeah, like spilled milk. That's what the card is about, crying over spilled milk. So somebody could actually be crying, but this could be depression. It could be shame. It, it could be guilt, remorse. It could be grief, um, hopelessness, despair. Ugh. 
I'm not even going to stay in this energy too long on that on that starting point. But it's what I heard as I was going through that. It's like somebody had all the control of how they got to this point before, you know, leading up to this. They had more control over that than they do what they're actually in mourning about. It's like they contributed to the creation of this mood in some way, shape, or form. But the true depression is feeling, at least feeling, maybe it's, it may or may not be true because you know how I feel. There's always a choice one way or another, but it may be that someone feels a great depreciation in the variety of choices that they have at this time. And that is the cause for the full out depression here that now they've kind of run out of options or their options are few or less favorable of what is available or there's there's um the foreseeable outcome of some circumstances feels bleak enough that somebody just doesn't feel like there is I don't know there's hope but the upside I will say just straight off the back is that there are two cups up right here but somebody so focused on what has been lost perhaps what they lost or what they relinquished or wasted there we go with the spilled cups something was wasted maybe their energy love um somebody has lost themselves in something and they feel like it's a part of them or some essence of them that they may never get back. And even if they turn around and partake in the two cups behind them, if they ever realize that they're there, they're still so deep in mourning over what was lost that it feels greater with it being the three over here and the two than what they still have yet to gain or what they still have to look forward to. Oof, that's a tough spot to be in. Let me see what's under here. Oof, oh my goodness, really? Come on, do we really want to do this? Uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> Oh, that might be what somebody is feeling like. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I just, I was about to, ooh, I was just about to say like, I don't wanna go to work. Mm. So somebody has, there is hope. Yeah, and this is here. This is the missed opportunity or what, like I said, whatever was the initiation of this mood, this present mood here. So this is like past, present, future. Somebody resisted or rejected an opportunity or their own intuition, let's put it that way. Um, generally speaking, somebody ignored their intuition, which definitely lends to the theory that they had all control more or less over how they got to this point but maybe um, deflected it or relinquished it, that's the word, relinquished their control and their own intuitive fortitude to, here's those three cups again, to some other, hmm. It's like somebody knew better, but they allowed themselves some other influence. That's the word that I that I hear. Somebody was engaged in an influence or entangled in some influence that was not healing. It was not productive and prosperous, and it went against their better judgment in the natural sense, but certainly in the spiritual sense. And now they're looking back. It's like somebody thinking about all the times when they knew better to trust their instinct, to trust their intuition, to trust that little voice 
that little niggle that was saying, no, this isn't, this doesn't feel good because this is more cups than anything. Like this doesn't feel right. But they went along to get along anyway. And now here they are at the five of cups because there's nothing you can do about it at this point. You ex like, you're not going to cry over spilled milk and make an impact. It doesn't matter. You can cry, but it's not going to change that the milk has spilled and you're not necessarily, would you do, would, would you lap it up at this point? No, because now it's more or less trash, you know, it's gone. It's done. It's no longer edible or um, nourishing or nutritional at this point. Perhaps it never really was, and that's the, the point of contempt. Someone not realizing or not listening to the fact that they knew that it wasn't. They felt that it wasn't, and they still partook anyway. The Three of Cups can be the, like that energy of partying and celebration and libations or even debauchery to some degree not in this holistic form but in this regard three of cups being more so pronounced in two cards back to back to start definitely lends to a lower frequency and the nature of that three of cups on its own and celebrating and partying it's like it's all good to have a good time but it's but it's the company that you keep that makes all the difference, you know, and somebody wasn't partying with purpose or with people that were productive. This is quite the opposite. And so anyway, here we are at the Five of Pentacles, which is the manifestation, the physical form of this despair here. Somebody could literally be sick, needing some type of healing, and not having access to it, not having medical insurance I'm seeing here, or not having the like extensive care that they would need to really um, recover. It could even like, it could even be someone that doesn't have access to like mental health services through the proper resource of it through their own insurance. You know, if you got like basic insurance, I think, I think I would imagine nowadays that just about, or it's reforming to be that everybody has some level of care for mental health resources now, even with state insurance. However, it may not be the caliber or the capacity that one needs to truly recover holistically. This could be somebody that is spiritually or like having some psychological issues, yeah, with the cups. Yeah, some type of psychosis here and depression, maybe on account of finding out of some poor diagnosis in their physical health that feels like it could even be like a slow situation that has, that that may be hard to reverse and it may have like slow deteriorating effects. Um, that without proper care could accelerate is what I'm feeling. Or it's like, um, with the slowness, it, it may not be necessarily, it could be, it could be like, or it could be somebody got the news late and something may have been too far along because this is like the one to the five. Yeah, if they had, ooh, now, okay. So if somebody had even listened to their body sooner than they did, their intuition, their what their mind was telling them and what their body was telling them. Because I said that something doesn't feel good. It's like somebody that took their time to get um to, to for to get treated or to get diagnosed at least or something. There's some delay here. And because of that it's advanced beyond what it could have been if somebody would have 
taking care of it sooner, at least going to the doctor sooner when they first didn't feel well or gotten the proper medicine or care upon the initial diagnosis. Somebody may have even been in denial about the, prop, the, the possibility of being ill. They didn't want to believe it or give life into it to make it real. You know, like trying to almost psychologically psych yourself out like, no, I'm not sick, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. Which, you know, has its place when it is founded, how can I say this? You can heal thyself in that regard when the the source of that remedy is pure, meaning that, that psychological channel is pure to receive transcendent transmission. But if you're rejecting the Ace of Cups and this Four of Cups, it's virtually impossible to receive healing from that, that pure source because you're not accepting it. You're not acknowledging it. So where else is it going to come from? It can't be manufactured within self without source. You know, whatever that source engagement may be, or it could be somebody that just put their faith in the wrong source for healing or for uh, recovery in some way, shape, or form, and it's, this is just the result. Like, it just didn't, didn't turn out well at all. A very serious prognosis here that is devastating for somebody, and that's the reason for the depression because they don't see the hope. It, it's like something that may need a miracle, which was offered here back in the Four of Cups, like that hand coming out of nowhere, like, hey, here you go, drink this, some elixir of life here, and somebody rather drink from the Three Cups, and now the Three Cups aren't available. It's just these two cups and it's like the lesser of two evils that somebody is having a drink from. And I don't know what that gets to be. Maybe there is the potential for healing, but it comes at a great cost. Or whatever the ailment is has already, like I said, so far advanced that now you need even more extensive care than you would have on account of your delay or denial. And or somebody feels alone in their road to recovery where once upon a time, like I said, that three of cups is like a good time. And now everybody has kind of abandoned this person, left them out in the cold to fend for themselves. And I also with this two of this two people on the five of pentacles, I can't help but take notice that some that this person, the reason for the isolation and abandonment may be on account of whom else has been infected and impacted by whatever this transmission was or is. Like somebody else may have been infected. And they're not taking it so gracefully, and they have they have their own healing um, journey to make, I suppose. And so they can't, maybe they can't be um, present as a support system for someone else, or they just don't want to be because they themselves are dismayed by their fate. So yeah, I don't even. Hell, this is uh, so dark. It's way too sunny outside for this shit. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, wow. And this is the, this is, this, this kind of landed like this. I mean, I'll take it upright. But this is definitely giving that 
someone is someone's in need of like I said a miracle healing and they're not really I'm gonna put this up mm, should I no I'll keep it down um, and they're not necessarily finding themselves at least they don't have the faith I'll say this because that's too projective they're having a hard time finding the faith to believe for the healing because of this deficit of worthiness, this guilt and this shame. It's like, oh man. All right, I'm going to say this because I feel like it must be a reason why it's coming up so clearly. Somebody, uh, somebody that I follow on um, on YouTube had made a, a, a post about Wendy Williams and how a lot of what she's going through is like the backfire of, of indulging in the spirit of gossip. And he, I didn't watch the post. It was like a live and I respect um, the, the person that, the creator that posted it. So I know it was probably some, some jewels in there, but I was really engaging the the advertisement of that live i didn't actually watch the live but they posted something on their community tab about it coming up and i have spoken to that before you know and i can see the evidence for that correlation in this season however what i also said is that i feel like it's more so um, her debilitated spiritual immune system because I feel like there are other interferences going on with Wendy. It's not just, oh, that's just karma. I feel like there is spiritual um, attack and warfare waged against her from familiar spaces and places maybe even faces <laughs> like somebody close by or that has a vendetta i won't call any names or or you know prospects because i don't think that would be fair but you could speculate as to where it it would most likely make sense for things like that to come from but you could also say that hell wendy might have had a lot of enemies as well because of the career path the purpose path that she chose for herself. So I was saying that I feel like, yes, there's that, but there's also spiritual interference that could be curable, that could be um, something that she could um, have avoided or at least could recover from if first that she even knew that, that there was such a prognosis in the first place, like knew where to look or where to sense that, that attack. But because she's depreciated her immune system spiritually on account of what she has, um, on account of like the habits and of, of lifestyle that she committed herself to, to, she's not really in the best of health to detect that, you know, to detect the origins of that ailment, of those ailments, to be able to say, oh, it's this one or that one or that, you know, like where she may be wide open and vulnerable to people in real time sending energy her way, she doesn't, she's, she's like completely unprotected, you know, like unshielded at this point because she has so many questionable characters around her and also because she's not in the strongest position to defend herself. Her, her spiritual immune system is not strong enough to defend herself the way that would at least alleviate some of the issues. Maybe not all, because some may be natural and karmic and just the season that she gets to play out. But some stuff, I do think that it's unjustifiable interference. And I was likening it to somebody having like full-blown AIDS, where you know, with HIV, that's that would probably be be tagged anyway, right? But with HIV, it's like you still have some time. Damn, I, are we talking about that? 
we might be talking about that. That's probably why it came up like that. But this is what I likened it to. Like with, um, generally speaking, like with HIV, you got time. You can, you can nowadays medicine is so advanced that hell, if you have the right protection, you have the right resources, even the money or the um, proper medical care, you can have access to um, to prescriptions and medications and things that can damn near make you undetectable. But if you don't, or if you, as I said before, ignore or deny the diagnosis, try to dilute it away by feeling like, nah, nah, not me, not me. And like, you can almost pray it away, but not, but the prayer is almost empty in a sense is what I'm feeling. It's really somebody feeling either delusional or arrogant about their manifestation power to be able to almost rid their physical being of spiritual dis-ease by command. But like I said, you can't do that. And, and, and there could be something mystical about it, mind you, which is probably why I'm saying it's about what somebody volunteered themselves um, to into as a practice, as a lifestyle and purpose. It could even be somebody on some funny business that tried to project. I said somebody else was infected, didn't I? But mystically speaking, spiritually speaking, but from a very diabolical point of view, it could be somebody project that tried to project their illness onto some other host to rid themselves of um, that prognosis or diagnosis. But that didn't that didn't transfer. That didn't that got canceled somehow. Yeah, this is the spiritual interference here that got canceled. So not only did that fail to transfer the way it was intended, because somebody took their their time in denial, because part of that process would be almost like deluding yourself to believe that you don't have it, or then it becomes a part of your reality to project onto someone else. But that didn't that transfer didn't happen. That that didn't go through. However way you that transmission didn't happen. Maybe somebody even physically was sleeping around or sharing fluids or exchanging energy in some way that should have even physically made that transmission. Um, and perhaps it even did work in that regard, but it didn't change his diagnosis, which is why the Five of Cups is looking the way that it is. And somebody is mad about how they kind of got entangled in, in some karmic energy that perhaps wasn't due to them or whatever you know, that they feel, they feel a victim of in some way, shape or form. So it's like double trauma now back, back, um, firing on this person because they waited too long to realistically deal with their truth. They tried to project the worst of it onto someone else and maybe even infect the worst of it, um, infect someone with the worst of it. Then they um their the the backlash has created such a diminishing in their spiritual currency that they don't even have the strength or the the vitality <clears throat> to try to drudge up the hope and faith for the um healing that they would need in spirit let alone the actual resources that they would need in the material sense to now actually combat and address the to treat the issue of which you know the or the original issue as it was somebody they waited too long now it's too full blown and now they have a worse problem on their hands with all of that extra karmic energy on top of it than they would have if they had just dealt with the truth they had even had spiritual assistance here with the temperance card that meaning Damn, like somebody could have been due a miracle or could have been, you could have had access to like almost miracle grade healing in some way, shape or form if they had dealt with their, like that spirit coming out of that cloud. 
if they had dealt with their grievances responsibly, but instead they deflected it every which away and denied it every which away, south, east, north, and west. And I don't even know why I said it all distorted like that, but that's how distorted somebody's energy is now. And now they're having a hard time keeping their head above water just to deal with the reality of their circumstances, let alone with all the extra shit that they really, like I said, brought upon themselves. So it's like triple whammy because it's like you didn't have to go through all this. You could have been healed if you dealt with it properly. You dragged other people into it and now you're dealing with it alone. Or it's people aren't trustworthy that you're surrounded by, which is still that piece. And you don't have the strength to see a hopeful, uh, a hopeful prognosis at this point. You need that strength right now because the temperance card is only going to alchemize what you add to those cups. It's not really going to make. It's not. It's not. It's not a magic trick. You know, it had to come from an emotional um, deposit of sorts. You know, like I said, someone properly dealing with their their circumstance responsibly, honorably, humanely, um, honestly, for temperance to really do something with that energy, like to make something shake with it. But what what someone gave to their angelic support was shitty. So it's like you're making you making the angels work overtime and you don't even have the support to withstand this process because your energy is so depreciated that it's like you could you could go any day before this even were to become a viable recovery. That's fucked up. <laughs> like Somebody did too much. But the worst of it all was really fucked up. And I got to say it like that, straight how I feel, is that the fact that somebody had healing in their arsenal. They had access to it. But the minute they decided to ignore their spiritual nature and go down this deep, dark rabbit, rabbit hole of, I don't even know what you call this. Cause it's like, you talk about demon time that you, you gonna deny what you got going on and then push it on to somebody else, make it somebody else's problem with no remorse, with no compassion. That's the sad part is because somebody could, could have bottled up all of that energy, conserved all of that energy and put it into healing thyself and they would have had the support system that they needed to actually be a miracle case. But they went into a rage and a fit against the truth, not with the truth, but against it and decided to more or less manipulate the circumstances in their favor, like take things into their own hands, but in a very dishonorable way. And they, somebody, somebody just really had no right to take the course of action that they did. And now they're like experiencing that firsthand. So like I said about Wendy, it's like they're, they already got physical issues that really did stem from a spiritual disease in the first place. But now it's like compounded. It's like malignant at this point because they can't trust their surroundings. They don't have access to the proper care in the physical form. And the only hope that they have is like overwhelmed with the task of healing to some degree because what they have to alchemize is like 
It's like if you have the difference between purifying tap water and purifying um, like a muddy water or hell blood while we at it because that's what we talking about there's a, a completely different alchemical process that needs to happen for blood than what most people have access to for water like it's not the same thing it's something far more advanced far more extensive so it's like it's not like it can't be but with that page of of pentacles it's like it's a slower process and somebody has already delayed the starting point of that process with all of this foolishness it's not just a matter of swishing water back and forth into these cups and making it pure it's literally like somebody having a blood transfusion what the freak am i tapping into that could be it because if you need a blood transfusion which means it doesn't have to be limited to like hiv or anything like that but if you need a blood transfusion that comes with all types of other layers of delays and potential um potential obstacles and it's damn sure you better have some good medical care in that regard my god so this is a matter of like i said it's like somebody might be waiting on like a heart or something like when i'm thinking about blood and you know the heart being the cent the centric organ in that regard some that it might be something like that where somebody literally needs an organ and that's the delay they got to wait for it but the time is ticking because they you know every minute is counting because somebody waited so long to get to the root of the problem and and the odds are not stacked in their favor on it like if they would have done this honorably everything kind of probably it, it might not be said that there wouldn't have been a great deal of recovery to make on the back end but things would have been more synergized spiritually you know the proper care and in, in place the organ available the right surgeon the right you know somebody it could be any delay maybe the surgeons not, and we in mercury retrograde too which could have an effect in such things with scheduling and stuff like that or somebody might need to travel for a, a procedure and they can't because they don't have the resource it's so many ways i see this now and it's like somebody heaped their head with coal for no reason because it never had to be like this it would have been as simple as di prognosis what diagnosis positive prognosis um recovery and it may have been a hard rocky road but that's what it would have been some i don't have a surgeon or the surgeon's not available and it's like they're backed up, the organ is not available, or the or God forbid it, the organ rejects the body. They trying to they want to have all types of family members tested in emergency, but family is like some that may even be able or not willing to even test to see if they're a match. Um all the while their body is breaking down on them, so is their mental and, and spiritual health. All of which they don't still don't have the proper support for to, you know, to, so they don't have it. They barely have it to get what they absolutely need to keep breathing, let alone all the extra amenities of healthcare right now. Like somebody does not have it for some reason. And, but it's it's all because of what, they brought upon themselves on account of their choices wow you got to be kidding me oh oh now you saw that i ain't even got to explain somebody not living in their truth and that card came up yesterday 
just like that, but on the floor. In denial, obstinate, lot maybe lying about their their diagnosis or trying to like live in this illusion, like I said, like trying to live in this false reality that they didn't have it when they they needed to be honest with themselves to ever have a chance at being healed for whatever this is. And with the sword energy, I feel like it's emotional because usually the swords are not emotional. It's more calloused and cerebral. And oh my God. Is this, is this an aneurysm? And this guy's head is bent. When I said cerebral, that sparked something. This guy got his head bandaged up. So somebody maybe maybe that somebody could have had a nervous breakdown on account of the diagnosis and the prognosis and just the stress of the waiting and the uncertainty. That's what this could be too. Of being beholden to spirit now, literally beholden to a miracle. It's not there the fact that they don't have control like they usually do or would like to is completely driving somebody insane. Yeah, with this, they're not able to finesse the situation like they usually are to be able to say, this is what goes like, instead of taking that Ace of Cups, they have their own cup in mind, you know, their own plan, their own seductive influence or strategy. And it's that, that has no wait here whatsoever. It doesn't even matter. Because if this is the cup that you're still offering the temperance angel to finesse the spirit at this point, that's just slowing down the process even more. So this is somebody that's still not willing to be honest and upfront with, like somebody not refusing to repent is what I'm getting. And it doesn't mean that it has to be like a public proclamation unless that's what the spirit calls for. I don't know. But it's like somebody that still is in denial about their creativity, that like their um, accountability for this. They don't want to take any responsibility. They don't want to acknowledge. Instead, they'd rather be angry like that um that knight of swords they're they're mad they're furious they're enraged like they feel like it's an in, injustice or unfair but it's like what are you seeing it the same way that god does <laughs> clearly not but still like in the forefront trying to like that this is what it is and this is sick too somebody is knows that they need something more than what they can give themselves at this point. So they're trying to like gussy up an offering of sincerity, like, like, here you go. Like, you're happy now type of energy, but that's the energy that's, that's how I was reading. Maybe not even if it said, cause the, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups is coming to you like almost like a Don Juan type of energy. Presenting itself to be, you know, compassionate and, emotionally available and so on and so forth but as i always say with ulterior motive is most of the night energies or at least with some expectation for reciprocation so it's like give gussying up an offer as best as they possibly can to look sincere about healing like the prayer like lord if you get me out of this i promise i'll change my ways but it's not really sincere. It's it's probably an outright lie, as a matter of fact, with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And you can't finesse the spirit. It knows who you are. It reads your frequency, your energy signature. And if you need such a big, shit, at this point, favor. <laughs> Literally, if you need the favor of God right now, you got to come humbly and sincerely not still with a trick up your sleeve or like yeah 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 let me just get this healing real quick and then i'm gonna get right back at it like the spirit knows and that's part of the delay is because somebody can't get it together even in their despair enough 
to present themselves sincerely, humbly, and taking accountability and responsibility for their actions to be able to, like I said, the healing is available, but somebody is still too prideful to receive it. Imagine that. Or they're just like, they're too mentally and emotionally disturbed. Yeah, like they that's pride right there. Like, yeah, yeah, I got it, but I'm going to act like, you know, they really think that they're better than the spirit. They're superior. This is what they feel of themselves as the king of cups. But ain't no love there. There's no compassion there. And in order for there to be a response from spirit, it would need to be evident truly. And maybe, let me see what's on the bottom. Mm -mm, no, it's an illusion. And also a delusion that somebody thinks that they got the drop on the Holy Ghost. <laughs> like what? Like they can they they can't be read. They're they just they can avert psychological detection or something or I don't know what that is. It's something weird and deep. That somebody thinks they can almost like, hmm, what is it? Like, um, like kind of like what I was saying, but it's something more tricky, like almost wizardry, wizardy than that, where they can project a certain emotion as honorable, upright, honest. Like I said, like, yeah, I really am willing to change. I have control over myself and I, this is the path that I want to choose. But it's like, it's literally a projected illusion. But the, the issue is whom is projected to or what is projected to. The ultimate keepers of, of, of knowledge you know, it's like the angelic forces are beyond sense and sensibility and they don't have any allegiance to anyone or anything except for truth. So if you're not going to get real with yourself, it's of no consequence. There's no sympathy from that energy. It's only going to alchemize what you give it. So you can present it as this cup of love and compassion if you want to, but if it's really reading all of the worst, the best of the worst energetic feelings, like this is somebody's true subconscious nature. And that's what it's reading. What you really gonna do if you get healed or how what you really feel about what you did and who you affected, infected. How you really plan to use that new organ or this new this miracle healing after you receive it will you be a testimony no not in the queen of swords in reverse to help others be empowered by your experience particularly bringing them to the knowledge of the saving grace of god particularly because you needed a miracle you're not going to do that as far as the spirit can see. They're reading your energy signature and knowing, already knowing that you're still just as resistant as you were in the four of cups, just really wanting to get healed so you can get back to the party, whatever that party is. This is bleak. This is so bleak. Exactly. And you see that that's, that's a struggle, right? But I'm going to leave it up right. I'm going to leave it up right. I don't know if you saw how it felt, but it felt kind of sideways. Because somebody is not, not decided on turning, on a, turning over a new leaf. It's like they're kind of stuck in between worlds. Somebody might be in a, in a coma. Oh, my God. Or that's some, something on the horizon. 
where somebody may lose the function of their consciousness and be resorted to that seven of cups subconscious and really have to grapple, grapple in the spirit for their, their um, regeneration. That's harder when you, you, oh my God. When you have, when you're stuck in some 5D, I can't even say maybe seven, but probably not too much higher with this energetic. That's the other issue is that somebody can't really even ascend even in their subconscious on the astral to the heights that they would need to, to make contact with this resource because of the choices that they made. So imagine like, it's like somebody's not realizing the power of of choice that they still have to make a conscious decision of repentance and submit submission to healing. Soon, all they're going to have is their astral mind. If this hasn't already happened, all they're going to have is their astral body to account for in their subconscious mind, which is for, for this energy, much harder to really gain control over. It's much more, it's like somebody being in a coma for months or years, trying to find their way out. And people do wake up from, the, from comas after a long period of time, but it's like finding your way out of hell. When you had the privilege of a body, a mind, and a spirit, but somebody didn't do well to appreciate that privilege. And so this is the outcome. And because somebody still is not definitive on their choice to actually be the King of Cups for real, like get the healing that you need on a spiritual level, first and foremost, a, a, a psychological level. What's going on? Why are you like this? You need to figure it out before it's too late and you're trapped in your own subconscious in your own mind or somewhere in the astral plane all types of vulnerable and delicate to energetic forces that you have no control over and no shield from imagine that ain't no party in that but somebody needs to make a decision to leave that old world mentality behind for good. And it's only going to be readable by the true decision, not the one that is projected as the truth, but really is a lie. Like the trick, the cloak and dagger, so to speak. Mm mm. That's not going to work in this case. Yeah, like this is what they need. Damn. My eyes twitching. And this is also like their, like I said, their inner, like all of this potential and facility just caught up in the ethers, like raptured up into the astral, floating in space almost objectify like mm, mm, mm. but this is this is the opportunity of a lifetime literally for somebody and it's like bruh <laughs> best to take it I don't know, like this could have already gone down, honestly. And all somebody does have, it could have already gone down. Or it's inevitable, which is probably the reason for the hopelessness there with the Five of Cups. That it has actually materialized and somebody is out in the cold wandering like, a prisoner of their own mind. And this is this is the backfire, but it's also the proper um, resource for
for things to turn around or for, for regeneration, that it's, 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 that it's the potential is here. But high priestess, that's very confirming for me in this moment. Somebody has access to all the healing power, the facility. They have the access, but will will they re resource it? Is is the thing? Will they? Because this, this, this energy could be for or against someone. It, it could be reactive or it could be regenerative. Let's see. What's next? It's hard to get a pop. <laughs> I see how like my I had that little pain, that little sting. It could be it could be possible. Let me see. But somehow it still feels like somebody's rejecting it. Like this is the empowerment here. And how my bracelet just kind of like pinched my skin. It's, it's somebody's like I said, somebody is not somebody is really reluctant to make a choice because they're still looking back at that potential for that three of cups of, of the good times that they're passing along. Like, well, if I get healed and I become, you know, renewed, is it going to be fun? Is it going to be a good time? It's like somebody's ridiculous. <laughs> like, they're there to fixate it on the power of this wand that they used that they used to do so much damage with in the first damn place. Ooh, and this could be an attack on yo, this could be like prostate. I hate to call all these things out. This is like an attack on that wand. So it could very well be but also on somebody's power and creativity. So it could be a range of things, but like I said, it could be something where it could be where somebody needs a transfusion or some really intensive treatment like chemo because something is, is spreading. I could see um, something, something with the, uh, the scrotum or, you know, testicular cancer or something like that or staff a staph infection no that's not your member i think that's your leg or something or something like that there's something i see it this looks like an attack now to me from from energetic forces to the member but it's more of a backfire from like i said what's been put out there and it's fair because this is what was fed to the angelic realms like well, now I can only first give you back what you dished out first, and then we can get. So that's why it's the hard to turn over that um, purify that bloodline because it's like you gave me this. I got to give it back to you first, and then we can work on your healing if you even up for the challenge. And somebody's still not sure that they are. This is either be an infectious wand or somebody being infected by a wand that they were not well protected from. Mm -mm. 
this is weird oh shit and that that's that's the, that could have been like the couple energy up there like how somebody became a casualty the queen of swords that's definitely a uh an enraged feminine. I didn't even think about that aspect of it. Could even have been an ex-wife or an ex-partner. Well, it's an ex now, if it if it wasn't. But somebody that could be like deranged at this point, like unhinged on account of her own anger <clears throat> because of what has occurred. I didn't even see it like that. But in the reverse, it gives me that somebody is a liar anyway. So they, they're also a casualty of their own karma. So it's like, it's all fair when the, when the temperance angel is here. It's like, ain't nobody getting off scot-free. Nobody. Yeah. Because this was some, this was some silly magic. Like I said earlier. manipulation at least with what their wand and now all of that energy is coming back to where it was sourced from it oh that's still there that's interesting the two of swords is still there because somebody like it's like somebody's disabled oh because they tried to send out like a, a a big attack that could have been what i was picking up there and this is why like that cycle is closed on what somebody was trying to do. And it's like now the charges have been reversed, so to speak. Because somebody just refused to see it a different way and to stop the madness. They had to run one more game. One more game, probably up under one of these past intense cycles like the lunar eclipse or the solar eclipse. and. It was nothing to play with in that regard. It wasn't It wasn't for that. If you didn't have high vibrational intentions, and I don't care how high and mighty you are or how low you think you are, how low down you think you are, if your intentions were not pure to manifest with that energy, oh yeah, you, you got an accelerated um, backfire and a wake up call more than what you could have ever planned for. And and probably didn't even see it coming. Somebody could have even thought like, oh, I might, I might get a little hit, a little slap on the wrist, but I can always transmute that, project it out, blah, blah, blah. They thought it was the same old party. Like like I said, the same old three of cups. It, it ain't that type of party no more. The universe is not spinning those tunes. Yeah, look at that. Again, sideways. They played into their own delusion. And, and now they're entrapped. So I, what I was reading is somebody had, like I was trying to keep the hope alive. Somebody had the chance, but I don't I don't think they they took it. I don't think they took the opportunity the way that they should have. No, this was the decision here. And this is what could have been possible. Or now this is what it has spread to. That's what that is. So we've gone from the five. The the night the knight of wands, the knight of pentacles may be slowed it down to give time for somebody to really get their bearing straight. Like, all right, time's a ticking. What's it gonna be? And somebody played all these dumbass games on one of these um, moon cycles or solar eclipse or lunar eclipse. And like I said, it's metastasized now. It's spread like wildfire, or it may even be spread within a community of folks, not even just a partnership, because this is really about family. Or somebody may have desecrated their own lineage. Hell, maybe indefinitely, because this is the infinity sign on account of this. Almost brought themselves to a point of no return, or at least to repeat some cycles of imbalance for a very extended period of time. Like this is literally like the sins of the father falling upon 
the children that didn't even have nothing to do with it. So you may be long gone in a couple months or a couple years if you're lucky. And still the next incarnation or the next generation or those that you leave behind still have to deal with the infection in your wake, the ailment, the illness, the disease in your wake. This is not this is not what it usually is for me with the Ten of Pentacles. No, it ain't that. So it could have been that. That's the point of decision with the Two of Pentacles. It's like somebody had the chance to even recoup their legacy and maybe even their inheritance with time. Like I said, it may have been a hard climb to healing, but they still had that miracle chance of hope to not only redeem themselves, to heal themselves, to recover from their transgressions, but to actually bring their legacy out of the trenches with them. And they, what is this last card? Because this is like absurd. Disappointment. Now they're looking at looking at their loins or whatever, like the prognosis here, like, what did I do? Not at all happy with what they decided to invest themselves in for the long run. Mm -mm. And like I said, this could be in the ethers of somebody now a little too late in their subconscious mind battling for their own vitality. trying to find a way out back to consciousness. It literally could be somebody in a coma or this could be a result of whatever this ailment is. Cause like I said, it could be something that progresses or that has advanced now to some uncontrollable uh, state. Like in the seven of pentacles, he doesn't have control over what comes out, what's harvested, and what's not. It's growing, though, but he has, he's not able to just pick from this vine. And it could be a matter of where something might be, have been removed, and now, you know, you know how sometimes they open you up and that's even more of a... I don't know. I don't want to keep harping on that, but I see what I see. And it's not often that I see it so clearly and vividly this way. I usually see things more in an oracle light or in figurative talk. And then later I'm like, oh shit, that was that, that was this. But this is, this is, this is real shit right here. This is some, somebody's actual health, not just mental, not just spiritual. This is somebody's physical health that... There's that wand that is not okay. And now they're having to fight themselves out of what they have dug themselves into with less energy. It's not the Ace of Wands. This is a de depreciated um, power, underdeveloped or just depleted to some degree. It's not quite the page though. It's still nights, which is why I still have hope that there's something there, but it's not it's not going to be an easy recovery. It's not because somebody is still not operating in their mastery in their highest frequency. They're still trying to figure out what they can glean from the situation before they surrender to it. How they can even um what's the word? I always forget this darn word. How they can even conquer it on their own terms though. From a perverted passion and ambition, not with the right energy in mind. It's not pure. Wow. King of Swords.
if it was in the up it, it, it was in their highest and look at that from the queen of swords in reverse which in actuality could even be that energy right there too with it it could be a man other than a, fem a feminine and you know the opposite would be the king of swords but this this is that counterpart energy where somebody is still trying to control the 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 narrative or they would still want to like control yeah that's what is given more so the narrative like they're like get ahead of the story or something like just still got their mind on the wrong things it feels like when they need to be aggressive, this is the way out, to be aggressively champion in their way to their purest truth as the King of Swords. Like no more frills, thrills and spills. <laughs> To just be honest. This is someone that's honorable, that's upright, that takes accountability, responsibility, that does things fairly and justifiably, that's trustworthy. Like that's, if you're going to be wild and lustful after any nature, then that certainly would be the one to, to, um, pursue for sure so as as i like to do in in the fashion of keeping hope alive let's just hope that everything that i said is projective maybe some things haven't occurred yet maybe some things never have to but and maybe somebody still has or some people even still have a choice as to because this doesn't have to be like a masculine outright or even a feminine it could be like i said it could be multiple people especially with that ten of pentacles coming up but it could also be either energy and since it's so um heavy on the masculine vibes on the board even with the queen of swords in reverse it just could be a feminine operating in her masculine energy exclusively or in balance in an imbalanced way Either way, the one pure aspect of it is by way of this King of Swords who's proactive about projecting his truth, proclaiming it, professing it, living by it, not just talking the talk, but actually walking the walk. And the only way this energy would make sense is to be lustful after that reality and nothing else. It would be it would have to be to release these illusions and delusions to release the lies to release the pride and ego about what how you want to be perceived or what you want people to think or what you don't want them to know and what it's going to look like or how you know like how much you lost or what you stand to gain like the only thing that matters is coming out alive and well at this point and if that's the sacrifice and surrender that it takes for all the rest of this shit to be released for you to have your peace of mind that's what this is also um yeah like to be very passionate about pursuing your peace of mind your right mind your sound mind to to be um to be reaffirmed in the most profound power that we have, which is that of choice, and to then make upright decisions in that regard. If somebody is not, not the projection of it with the illusion, like it's not going to work, it has to be real. And I can't even prescribe how it gets to be real because real is relative to you, <laughs> whomever you is, <laughs> really and truly, like literally whomever you is. <laughs> but one thing's for sure is that the spirit knows you cannot fool 
the spirit. You can fool men. You can even damn near fool yourself clearly to start to believe the lies and illusions that you created for yourself and get lost in them. Make, it, make yourself at home in them, why don't you? But that is where you will spend your eternal rest if you do not repent. And all that means is to change your mind and change your ways away from wickedness to the light of life. Simply put, loving yourself back to wholeness. Whatever that takes, however long it takes, but that being the honest commitment here, the relentless ambition, as a matter of fact. Anything else, just just hang it up. Just, just, I hope your affairs are in order because the aftermath and afterlife is all that will matter in that effect. So again, I pray that this is a word that will be transformative for anyone that gets to be affected by it or influenced in some way, whether it's hurt or not, but that enough of the transmission um, goes forth to infect change, <laughs> necessary change, um, transformation or transition is really the only, the two cups, as a matter of fact, that are left to choose from. So, all right. Thank you for listening and watching. Until next time, as always, I leave you with peace.